Hey, Steve here, and today I got a book review for you. I'm talking about Brian Tracy's Eat That Frog. It's all about ending your procrastination. No, we don't do that, do we? Ha! <laughs> well, eh, I don't know about you, but sometimes I do. <laughs> and that's why I have this book sitting on my desk right where I can see it, especially the picture of the frog, man. Da da da! Ooh! <laughs> Well, three reasons why you should read this book. Number one, the frog analogy. Oh my gosh, eat that frog. It's based upon a Mark Twain quote that went something like this. The idea that if the worst thing you have to do is eat a live frog every day, then what could be worse? <laughs> so get it done. <laughs> and do it first. Right. And so he's taken that and built upon it. And basically what we're talking about here is the idea that if you've got something big that you got to get done, start on it first. See, unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is that what we do is we do all these little things. We do them first, and then we go to the big thing if we have time. We feel good because we go, ah, I did all these little things. I got something done, and then we put the big thing off until tomorrow. <laughs> so my point is, is... The analogy is cool. <laughs> Eat that frog. Number two reason why you need to read this book is 21 suggestions on how to stop procrastinating. Oh my goodness. We all need 21 suggestions. Yes, somewhere in there, something's got to help you. <laughs> and the third reason why it's easy to understand and easy to put to use. So eat that frog, man. Eat it. Go ahead. Take care of it. Love this book. I'll put in the show notes below a little link that'll take you to where you can find the book. And remember, I don't get any pay or kickback for suggesting this book. It's a book that I like, a book that I'm using, and it's good and it's easy to use. Check it out.